Today's a day of teaching acceptance, peace, love, harmony, trust, and strength. So my dad got sick and he's in the hospital. And I was talking to the kids and I was telling them about, you know, they changed him from ICU to a regular room. And I don't really like that because now that he's in that regular room, he's got shared nurses that are working with one type of patient and another type of patient, he gets sick. And my son's like, why would they put him in that kind of room? And I said, well, it's time to accept that he's no different than any American walking around here today. And my son thoughts, thinks about it, he says, ah, but he's African-American. <laughs> And I have really been believing that it's a state of mind and you raise your awareness and you bring your children up with the mindset of having knowledge of self, knowing how to take care of themselves and knowing who they are. So my children know that they are powerful individuals. They know who they are. And they have this way about them. So for him to say what he said, it was like, the world just doesn't recognize you as who you are. Not yet. Excuse me. Oh, man. Excuse me. So as the world's not recognizing individuals as who they are, we then have to um, show and prove who we are. And that comes into play of the times that are ahead. We got work to do. And I was thinking to myself, you know, I'm glad to see all these Facebook videos of people doing their exercises and getting their body right. And they're not even knowing that they're home and they're like, well, I might as well do this. But this is a time of survival of the fittest. So while you're getting your body right, get your mind right too. Because you might need to use some survival tactics where you have to run 20 miles. You sound like 20 miles? Who the heck? Yeah, just run and keep on running hide and take a break and run and keep on running some more because you got to get cross country by foot you know you never know what is up against with us today but we have to be prepared and equipped and able to do all things so i'm thinking about my father who's in this hospital and i mean i understand the purpose and the reason why he went and i I even myself, knowing that I'm not there to care for him the way I would choose, bear with me one moment, please. So where we are is accepting, you know, I'm not there to take care of him the way I would want to. So he's got to allow for someone to do what he needs done because he can't do it himself. And that's where we are today. We have been, as a people, so depending on the government to take care of us we've got single mothers and elderly people living in section 8 and housing having public assistance our public education system is mental welfare so the kids the only way they can learn is if they go to school no one can teach them unless they're in school we have depended so much on a system to take care of us that now when it's time to step up and take care of ourselves, self-care is the best care people are running frantic they're scared and they don't know what to do now's not the time to be scared now's not the time to be fearful now's not the time to panic and wonder what to do i have sat back and i've been paying attention and i i think it's been almost three weeks now that the systems have shut down in the schools and the parents and i'm watching and i'm like you know what do they need to do for myself i know what you all need to do because i already do it 
but I, it's hard to figure out how to articulate it to you all where I remain how I need to be as a mom and as well as gives you all the information that you need to get. Like I think about, I have a nutrition program and my nutrition program, I've damn near offered it for free with a detox tea. And the detox tea, when I look at the news today and the different things that are being put out about herbs makes me say, I don't know if I want to offer this stuff to you all because there's so many people that are mentally, I want to say brainwashed. Um, and I don't like using those negative connotation words because I don't know what it exactly is, but there are a lot of people who don't agree to what you really have to come on and accept. The hospitals is not the safe place for you today. Those places are science labs and they have a mission that they must do. If we look at the way the world is going today and how the structuring of these companies are, they're looking for people to show up and do because you signed up and that's what your profession is. That's what you agreed you were going to do. And you're scrutinized if you do something different. But then there's discretion for the wise. Rules are for fools. So if I'm wise enough to know that that's not what I need to do, I'm going to do something different. Stay my ass home and be protected in my own walls doing what I need to do. Then how many of these businesses will fail? How many will make it? Here in my city alone, the hospital was saying they were cutting pay to pay for the hospital to stay functioning. And I washed my hair, fell asleep with out socks on without my hair dry. It dropped down to like, it was 82 yesterday and it dropped down to 30s in the night. Woke up and now I'm sniffling. Go figure. Excuse me again. It's okay. We're going to get through. Because it's just a little sniffle and a sneeze. And I appreciate that. I know when it happens, what I'm supposed to do. And I'm doing it. Just got to get through it. Um, but at the same time, I'm getting messages constantly that I've been ignoring for a long time. And I'm finding where the longer I ignore, the worse I feel. And I don't like that. I don't like not feeling good. So I realized that I must share and I must rise to the occasion. <sighs> I don't know how many people like right now are being called. I know it's a lot. Cause, but I don't know how many are being called and it's a tug of war of uncertainty because I don't mind sharing and giving the information and the knowledge but I want to be received I don't want to be rejected and that's where it is it's like on the in the media Dr. Sabi they were talking about he's a liar he's a fraud and I'm listening to the things that they're saying like um as far as mucus and you can't rid the body of mucus because it's a form of lubrication by all means it is he wasn't wrong in what he said <clears throat> it's how he said it was was wrong and I think about my mom she's an English teacher and there are sentences that if you don't put the punctuation in the right place it changes the meaning and that's the same with words. If you don't use them correctly, the meaning is conveyed incorrectly. So I, for example, I eat avocado, even though avocado is a mucus causing food. And like I tell you, my nose is ready. My body is generating mucus. My body is working in overdrive to produce a nasal solution secretion that will flush what is bothering me? 
that's considered an allergen, something that is irritating my ecosystem and my body is saying, oh, heck no, we don't want you invading us. We're going to flush that on out. So it is creating a waterfall down my nose of a water slide. So the germs just keep going, back it up, back it up, back it up. I appreciate that. What I don't appreciate is the fact that I got to constantly blow my nose. Pause the video. Because I don't want to be huh, huh, huh on the video, you know. So what I don't appreciate is to try to be polite and not pause as much. I'm sucking it up and I'm feeling the pressure here. Now that right there is not self-care. That's me caring for you all's comfort instead of my own. And I'm creating more mayhem within my comfort zone. I'm creating a discorum in my head that causes eyes ears nose throat pressure in my forehead so now i have an opportunity to create more inflammation then that's going to go up into my brain sending more inflammation which is going to come on down so it's creating a discord that i do not want we do it all the time we do it with the choices we make when we're making choices of what we're going to do, how we're going to eat, how we're going to get along with our loved ones, our co-workers, our neighbors. We do it all the time with everything we do. It's a matter of choice. And right now, the things that we're going to choose is everything that's better, everything that's the best, everything that is godly, that is loving, that is the ultimate prime like right now you can't look at stuff and be like oh that costs too much it's like upgrade time because you are worth it you are your greatest asset and if you do not invest in you and do the things that it takes to make sure that you survive you ain't gonna be here y'all don't hear me i'm talking about People say organic food costs more and yada, yada, yada. Well, one thing about we can avoid organic food is if we all grow our food, create a economy of exchange amongst our communities, our neighbors, and we exchange with the, within our circles, within our areas, so that we don't have to go to the grocery stores and get stuff that was shipped in from Chile or Mexico, California, and we weigh in kansas you know we need to be getting stuff that's right here local that we need to eat so that we can keep our communities thriving and surviving as well as ourselves i gotta blow again one moment there's tons of farmers that are out there that have already been growing growing and sowing i used to beg and plead throw some extra seeds down for them people who can't grow grow some extra grow some extra and what's what we got to do. But more than just that growing some extra. Like I was looking at some videos. And they were talking about these needed herbs. And I thought about. I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to do videos and teach people about herbs. Something that passed my time. But also be helpful to the community and everything. And I flip in my book. And I'm looking at things. And I'm like but you know what. It's not what y'all need. We need to know. Which I know how. The common herbs that are in your kitchen that are essential for your health that you can consume every day in some type of way that will keep you healthy, able to combat what we're up against today. Time. Time is on my side. Yes, it is. I used to love that movie. I can't tell you the name of the movie, but I know Denzel Washington was in it. And that was my movie. I like that movie. I like how they jump from person to person. And it was like, you couldn't figure out how or why, but something happened and then they kept singing that song. Well, time, that is an herb <clears throat> that people argue and say you can't eat. It's a stick. People are like, who want to eat a stick? Then it's an herb. People say you can. Some people don't like the taste. You know, teach your own but for me what i know time does is time is phenomenal for your respiratory system it's 
phenomenal for arthritis, um, asthma, bronchitis, tuberculosis, just lung issues in your respiratory system. So you can have thyme oil, you can use the thyme herb, but it's going to help you with your breathing and keep the inflammation down. The other herbs that you could be using, eucalyptus. That's an immune system booster, but it's also a plant. It's also one that helps cleanse your body of radiation. You got radiation going on. We need to make sure that we keep our immune system boost. And how do we do that? And this is one is the one that I like so much because keep in mind about this. Your thyroid gland, which is the gland responsible for telling your body what it needs to do. And that's its defense mechanism. If it's ruined by radiation, then it's going to not keep your immune system strong. So eucalyptus, which helps cure, cleanse the radiation, will help keep your thyroid gland protected. And also in return, it will keep your immune system strong. Eucalyptus tea. You can use aromatherapy. Get the eucalyptus plant hanging in your shower. As you're showering, you will be detoxing and breathing in with a steam bath of eucalyptus. Come on. You can get the eucalyptus oil and diffuse it. We need eucalyptus. These are things that we can grow as a plant. We could just get the herbs. We can have it in our little jars or our cabinets, counters. But we need to make sure we find a way to incorporate into our daily lifestyle. Pink Himalayan salt. That's what I eat with. That's what I cook with. It's good. And it's good for you. We need to incorporate that. Salt with iodine. But definitely not that salt that has no value to it. It just causes high blood pressure and make you sick. Why? It's time to make a change. People of the world, you can do it. Yep, yep. You can. I had to. It was hard. I ain't gonna lie. It wasn't that hard. The hard part was... On them down days when I wanted something and I had to accept and <clears throat> say myself, no, Nikki, because you like being here better. And I listened to my dad talk about him right now and what he's going through. And he said to the doctor, but y'all didn't tell me I was going to have to go through all this when I signed up for this liver transplant. They're talking about putting a tracheal in his throat and more radiation treatment and i know he was like i don't see what the point of living and i had to say to him okay maxine because that was something my grandma said too before she chose to go and i had to let him know the point of living is every day that you woke up and you live for it was for that unknown that wonder of what's next and what's it going to be, but being thankful that you have an opportunity. He made me a coconut wrap. Now, I'm going to show y'all. Don't go too far. Don't go too far. I want some spinach. I don't know why he does this to me. It's beautiful. And I hate because we're supposed to be saving food. Boy, if you don't give me my iron. Give me the other le lettuce then. Well, I said, we, don't have a lot of that either. we have enough of that. It needs to be blended. No, the uh, um, pick out the one, good ones. But I just bought some some salad, spinach and stuff. I know. That's the one that I just picked up. Too. No, I bought two. Look in here then. I ain't gonna lie. Talking to you when you're no, you're not supposed to be talking to me when you're making a video. When I'm making a video, but. I saw you sneak this um, no spinach wrap. So this is, um. let me see if I can show you. Uh-oh. This way. This is a raw young coconut wrap. So in it, his curry, 
He put mustard on it for me. Oh, this isn't the curry one. This is just a regular raw coconut wrap. And then this wrap is falling apart. This is my last one, he says. This has tomato, jalapenos, spinach, and avocado, basil, parsley, Himalayan salt, and mustard. Now I'm going to add some more, some kale. This is just spinach. I'm just adding spinach to it. This was the spinach from Sam's, and it was kind of looking funny. But that's going to be my lunch. And he brought me more mustard if I need more. I might need another wrap. So what we're going to do is go ahead and wrap this up oh, so God. I can go ahead and eat my food. <laughs> and I'll holler at you all a little later. Peace.